This is a hard drive. That is a Mac and that is a PC. Some of you may have come across a situation where you're working on a project, someone hands you a drive and you find out it doesn't work on your machine. You use a Mac, it came from a Windows or you use a Windows machine and it came from a Mac machine and you just can't transfer the data. For today, we discuss how do you transfer the data quickly, easily between the two systems. Hey, what up? It's your boy Mob Justice back again with another video. As always, thank you to everyone who's been watching and supporting. This is episode 40, uh, a bit of a milestone for the channel. For today, we're looking at how you can quickly and easily be able to use um, hard drives formatted for a different system on a Windows or Mac machine quite quickly and easily. This video is brought to you by the team at Lion Media for crispy photo, video and audio content. You can head on over to lionmedia.com and uh, talk to the team and see what they can do for you. For today, we're tackling how do you get Windows or Mac specific formatted hard drives to work on uh, the opposite system. There are other operating systems such as Linux, but for today, we're dealing mainly between um, Windows and Mac. The majority of the world uses Windows, uh, but there is a significant portion of people that do use Mac, especially um, when it comes to certain creative industries. And sometimes you want to go between the systems now, before we can get to the issue of compatibility and interoperability, we need to talk about file formats, right? These are what determine read and write. And it is that reading and writing that's important. If, for example, you are working on a Word document, you're typing out your document, that is you uh, working on a document, but the moment you save that document, that is you asking the computer to save um, onto a disk and that is the process of writing onto a disk. So if you can't write onto a disk, then it renders the whole thing useless. And that's what we're here to talk about. The three main systems we're going to be dealing with are NTFS, FAT32 together with XFAT. Um, on the Apple side, there's also APFS together with HFS Plus uh, that we'll discuss later on. We start off with NTFS. For Windows and PC users, this is the default file management system on Windows. If you go and you buy a new hard drive such as this one and you plug it in for the first time, Windows will automatically format a disk like this to NTFS. Um, compatibility wise is where the issue is because um, you can read and write the disk on Windows because it is the default but if you were to take a disk that's formatted NTFS onto a Mac machine an Apple laptop or something like that then all you can do is to read the data you can copy the data but you can't paste right you couldn't copy from a Mac and then paste onto this disk you can't write onto the disk um, in terms of the advantages, um, it allows for almost unlimited file sizes and you can store large amounts of data onto it. And then on top of that, it's ideally used uh, for large storage on Windows and for internal drives. The next one, which is likely the most common in the world is uh, the one that's formatted for these things, a USB uh, flash drive such as this. Um, this is called FAT32 and basically it is a file format that's used for flash storage, USB drives, that type of thing. The nice thing about it is that it's compatible across both Windows and Mac. The only problem with it is just the fact that uh, the maximum file size you can have. So let's say you have a movie file or something. The maximum file size it can be is four gigs. That is the problem with this format. But otherwise, it's a it's a format that's existed for a really long time and, you know, commonly used on, you know, things like this, just showing that interoperability. To illustrate the point right now, I am recording this video on a Canon DSLR that uses one of 
these an sd card and these are usually formatted in fat32 and beyond a certain point it starts breaking up the the, the videos into chunks of 4 gig depending on how big the total file is and then you have xfat which is an extension of fat32 um, the big advantage with that one is got the same features um, you can use it across both uh, mac and um, windows but the big advantage with it is the fact that it has unlimited um, file sizes so it does not have that 4 gig limitation on file sizes FAT32 together with XFAT work across Windows and Mac but NTFS as we've said works specifically for Windows. Coming to the Apple side of things, FHS Plus has been um, the standard for a number of years. If you plugged in a new hard drive, that's what it would have been formatted in. And if you plug in a drive um, that is formatted in that way, it means on Windows specifically, you can only read the data you can't write onto that disk. Since about 2017, Apple has introduced a new file system called APFS, that's the new Apple file file system and uh, basically it's mainly for flash devices and for SSDs. Out of every format I've just described, it's the one that I would least advise uh, people to format their disks to um, simply because it's the one that has the least compatibility and uh, it even has issues with older versions of Mac. Now that we understand the formats and how they work, their compatibility, strengths and weaknesses, we can decide for ourselves what format we want um, our various disks to be in. And that's a very easy process. On Windows, you can just go to uh, my computer or this PC right click go to properties and from there you can actually view what format your disk is in um, using the same process you can right click on the same disk and you go to format and it will give you that ability to be able to format the disk into the format of your choice on the mac side of things um, you can use what's called disk utility and if you click on that it it shows you all your different disks and what format they are in and if you go under the Erase tab uh, that then gives you that ability um, to format the disk into the format um, that you want. Now, what format to choose depends on you and your use case. What are you using the disk for? But in terms of the one that has the most advantages and is the most versatile for what we're talking about, XFAT really does look like it. It works across the two platforms and it doesn't have the limitation on the file sizes. That said, there is a caveat uh, because they do say that on the Windows side, at least, that NTFS is the best when it comes to dealing with uh, large file sizes or large amounts of data. But on the other side of that, if you don't have that ability to actually format a disk, you've received a disk, or unfortunately you, you can't afford to erase all the data on the disk, you just have to use the one that came from the Mac machine or the one that came from the Windows machine, um, then there's a solution that's out there. There are a number of different uh, pieces of uh, software that actually work that makes it possible for you to read and write on both systems. The one I'm going to highlight today Day is one called Paragon and it's the one that I use personally. Uh, my big hard drives uh, such as this one are formatted in NTFS on the Windows side but when I use them on a Mac machine like this video is, going, is actually being edited on a Mac machine right now and uh, to do that that interoperability is done through a program called Paragon um, NTFS for Mac. Uh, the nice thing about this program is that if you buy one of these, this is a WD drive and then this is a Seagate drive, uh, they do have their different um, clients uh, that come with the disks and if you install the, the clients, they do give you the option to download something called uh, Paragon and if you go onto the website, there are two options. You can either get uh, the one that's FH, uh, HFS Plus for Windows or you can get the one that's NTFS for Mac. So basically, it just gives you two different options, a piece of software that allows you to read a disk from the other system. 
Now for me, the Paragon software has been quite brilliant. For a number of years, I actually used to use disks that were formatted either in FAT32 or XFAT to have um, that interoperability between the two systems. But at some point, I really wanted to be able to use the larger file sizes and to easily transfer data onto my existing drives that were formatted for Windows. So when I got one of my Seagate drives, it actually came with the Paragon software and that's uh, what I've been using for more than two years now and it's been brilliant. Um, you hardly notice it's there and it just becomes part of the system alerts you when a, when a disc is mounted, unmounted, all of that, and it provides a nice interface. Otherwise, the discs just appear as if they're normal and then your life just continues that way. In conclusion, it is quite possible to use hard drives between Windows and Mac. If you have the ability to format for yourself, then XFAT really does uh, give a compelling feature set. Just be mindful about some of its uh, limitations go read up on it and see if it works for you if you do have to deal with a windows specific drive or a mac specific drive then i think getting yourself a utility uh, such as uh, Paragon really is um, the best solution. There are a couple of others, but that's the one that I've used personally and it's worked very well. So that's been it. I hope this video has been useful. I know that a number of people come across uh, this issue sometimes. You get handed a disc or something and you don't know that it's formatted by another system and it's just not working. And you know, hopefully this will give some guidance on some of the steps that you can take for yourself. Let me know whether you've encountered this issue or you know how you get around it if it's something that you have encountered. If you specifically use Mac or Windows but you work with a team uh, that uses other systems, how do you guys go about it? Because the other option that we didn't really talk about because this was specifically about hard drives is the fact that people can use um, cloud solutions like a Google Drive, WeTransfer or something to send um, files you know across uh, across because if you just upload the file onto the cloud you can just download it and you know life continues that way but for those using hard drives specifically i hope that this has been useful let me know what you think and i'll catch you guys in the next video this is muffs too much and you're watching mob justice tv like us on facebook follow us on instagram follow us on twitter we're there on youtube thank you for watching our video subscribe